Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Don't mind the hair right now, it's a bit of a mess, but it's okay because we are gonna be trying out a product that I was kinda eyeing on and like going back and forth, back and forth, debating whether if I should try this out um, because I don't know how well it is on Asian hair specifically, um, especially short, uh, colored Asian hair because if you know what, if you guys know anything about Asian hair, especially my Asians out there, our hair is very stubborn, especially when it comes to curls. And our lashes are pretty much the same thing, so we have to use special products. Um, so I do have some styling products as well, so hopefully that it will hold. And bonus for this, I got the blue and pink version. It's also the long barrel. Um, I'm pretty sure some of you are like, your hair is short, why'd you get the long barrel? Well, I'm gonna be growing my hair, and so there's no point for me to gain the short one when I'm planning to grow my hair, so I might as well get the long one and see how it is. So in any case, before we get started with today's video, uh, be sure you are subscribed to my channel, ring that bell so you're notified when I do upload a new video, and don't forget to give this a thumbs up for 2024, because I'm pretty sure by the time I post this, it's in the new year, so happy new year. And uh, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram handle right there. And let's get started with the video. So first of all, like I said, you guys, I'm pretty sure by the time I post this video, it's in the new year. So happy new year, happy 2024. I can't believe that 2023 is over. It feels like the year has flown by so fast, especially when me and Ryan were doing like the wedding planning and then the wedding actually happened. And from then up until December, it just flew by so quickly. And I'm pretty sure that 2024 is no exception to that. But anywho, so like I said, I got my hands on the Dyson. This is the gift uh, edition. Um, so reason why this is the gift edition because it's the blue blushy color. And this is the long barrel. Um, so let me get my scissors or something and whatever and open this baby up. So I'm quite excited to unbox this and try this out. Again, don't mind my hair right now. It's looking like a little bit of a mess here. Um, but it's okay. It's okay because I'm gonna go take a shower, wash my hair, and we're gonna see how well this works, my first impressions, and also I will see how long my curls hold with this um, in like, what, a couple of days? Because obviously when you first do it, it's gonna look nice and fresh, so maybe in the next couple of days after that, we'll see how well it it looks after that. I'm pretty sure the curls will kind of fall in comparison to like a curling iron. Um, my curls usually last a lot better with that in comparison to like a blowout. Uh, so we shall see and this thing is heavy oh my god okay um, so this is the complete long so let me just fold this up a little bit here Whew. so this is what you get I'll show you guys the um, the stuff in a bit so you do get the barrels uh, two different sizes I think this was supposed to be like the one to help for flyaways um, the round brush and then two brush heads right there. So let's get into it. And this looks beautiful, by the way. Like, so take that out and greet it with the my Dyson. You know, download the app and so forth. And also, this is one. Of, this is the new one where. Um, you know, with the old barrels, you had two different attachments in two different directions, right? For this one, you just turn the, the knob and it will change the direction for you. It also tells you right here uh, how to pre-style, to use to rough dry, take a section, blah blah blah. We know the drill. Um, and then we have the, shape, uh, the shaping brush and then the smoothing part of the pre-styling as well. So it'll show how to do all that. It will be a learning curve for me, that's for sure, because I have no idea what attachment does what yet. Um, right now, I'm more interested in the barrels. The brush heads for this, I will probably look back into that another day. But uh, this is what you get right here. Uh, here is the wand, uh, the hair dryer. Again, it's the blue blush color. And I'm just going to open this so you guys can see. It. it looks absolutely gorgeous like holy canoe like look at this blue it's so vibrant and the pink really complements it kind of gives a softer uh, appearance and the buttons 
are also pink, kind of like a rose gold feel. So I really, really like that. One of the attachments is right here. It's supposed to help with flyaways. Is the um, you know, the pre-styling part as well. I have my friend just messaging me like, no tomorrow. Uh, we have the two brush heads right there. One of them supposed to be smoothing, I believe. Uh, yeah, one is supposed to be like a smoother and one is something else. So again, I haven't had a Dyson before, so I don't know what these brushes do or if there's really much of a difference to it. And then, of course, we... What do we have here? We... and Well, this is pretty self-explanatory. It's the round brush right here. That I definitely know. And so that's pretty much it. Anything else in here? I'm like opening every little compartment just to be sure there's nothing else. Okay, nothing else is in there. And I'm pretty sure in here are the two barrels. Alright, so this is one of the barrels and the other size. So hold on. I do have to say the barrel looks gorgeous by the way. Uh, so I forgot the sizes. I will mention that like later on in the video or the description somewhere around here. Um, so this is one of the barrel sizes and as you guys can see there are the arrows so you just turn the knob so you can like uh, put which direction you would like the air flowing. So that's one of the sizes and here is the bigger barrel. Same idea, same thing with the arrow. Just turn the knob right here to indicate which direction you want the air to go. I need to look up what these two do. Um, they look pretty much the same to me. I'm pretty sure it has a different purpose. Um, what that is, I have no idea yet. Um, I wish I actually came with a booklet, but I think I have to check the Dyson website just to be sure. So I'm gonna go take a shower and all that and then do some more learning of uh, those two brush heads because you know the barrels are pretty self-explanatory maybe read more about their like smoothing part right there i know it's supposed to help with flyaways and all that stuff but how to use it i'm not quite too sure yet so i'm gonna look at that first before we jump into it and before I give like, you know, my first impressions on the product. Okay, so obviously my hair is wet now. I've changed my shirt. So I looked into the bristles of like the brush heads and one is firm and one is softer than the other, but they, I'm guessing they basically do the exact same thing. It's like smoothing, straightening and so forth. So first we are obviously going to, you know, rough dry the hair. So, so the hair has to be at least 80% dry for the barrels to work. All right, so here it is very long cord and you know i didn't think that it came with like this i was kind of like i was like what is this a laptop or something also plug is very sleek compared to other plugs okay so in case you guys don't know already about the controls so we have the fan settings you know lowest second highest and then the heat setting there's two heat settings and like a cool setting and then you know on and off and then we have our cool shot so I will most likely go to the highest setting, um, heat setting, I'll probably maybe go to the second one first and see how that is. The other thing as well is that with this, there is same thing as the barrels, you change the direction of the airflow. So one way is supposed to, you know, do this where it tames the flyaways and then the other direction where the airflow comes out of here and where you rough dry your hair. I'm gonna turn it on. Ooh. So it's pretty powerful. So far, first thoughts is that the fan, pretty good so far, and the heat is not as hot, so it's, so it's not damaging to the hair at all. Um, I'm gonna like put it up a notch for the heat level just to see how warm it actually gets and then continue um, rough drying my hair. Alright, so the cream that I'm using is Day, Dye Day, I think it's Day. It's their Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. So, this is great to smooth out the style, it preps blowouts, and define curls. So this is, so that is obviously what we want. So I'm gonna use about this much. Hopefully that is enough for everything. So we're gonna work it within the hands and... I heard nothing but good things about the styling cream. So I have high hopes for it. And also side note, it smells so good. 
All right, so I'm gonna take off the attachment now. So I'm gonna use the smaller barrel. It's easier to kind of like see when you're doing it from the mirror. So in this case, I have this, the arrow going this direction. So when I'm doing it, the it will go away from my face. So I'm gonna clip up my hair now and obviously section it off. So I'm gonna go with the highest setting and highest fan because normally with my hair, it needs to be hot in order for it to hold a curl. So I, I'm giving this a fighting chance. So first impressions and uh, you know, first time using it. So let's see how this goes. Probably a little bit too much hair, but hopefully not. Um, and well, let's just break it down a little bit, okay. Okay, so I turn it off. Uh, I picked too much hair and also I need to clip up my my bangs because it's kind of getting in the way. So I did that and ooh, that's a nice curl. That's a really nice curl. Um, yeah, as you guys saw, I think I picked up too much hair, but this is a really nice curl going on. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, pick up a different section of hair now, and then I'm gonna turn the direction to the other way now. Let's try this again. Turn it off, let it sit for a bit, and then let it go. So this is a very nice curl. So I'm gonna do the rest of my head, and hopefully it'll give some amazing results. So. All right, so here is the bottom layer. Um, I mean, it looks great. Um, definitely a learning curve because I'm pretty sure how I normally section out my hair and how I do my curls is different because it's picking up some, not picking up others. Also, my hair is layered too, so maybe that's it. I mean, it definitely holds a curl very well. I'm enjoying this so far. It's actually kind of fun. But again, it's definitely a learning curve for sure. Like you have to know how much hair you are grabbing. You may grab a little too much, too little. Yeah, this is actually quite fun. Um, the curls may be a little bit too tight, but we're gonna be obviously, you know, brushing it out at some point. Um, so right now, I'm not too concerned about it. So this is one side of my hair so far. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the other side of my head and then do my bangs and then uh, I will come back in a little bit. All right, so here is the finished hair. It's all been like nice and curled, the blowout. I'm gonna brush it out now. I'm gonna use their comb right here. It's supposed to be like their detangle comb, so. I mean, curls are holding quite well. Um, the styling cream definitely helps. Like there's a lot, a lot of volume right here, as you guys can see. I need to put in um, some dry texturing spray, but you know, you get the idea. First impressions, there's a lot of volume, like tons and tons of volume. The curls are very bouncy. Um, a little too curled for my liking, so maybe I could go in with a bigger barrel, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna like fall at some point. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add some texturizing spray, a bit of hairspray in there just to have it hold a little bit, and I wanna see in the next few days how long, uh, you know, this bounce and wave and curl hold up because, you know, the styling cream definitely, again, helped a lot hold its shape. 
because um, typically when I do a normal like blow dry with like the curl with the uh, round brush and my regular hair dryer, it doesn't typically hold any like wave at all. So it kind of maybe just goes like flips out a little bit. It gives some sort of volume, but not much. Um, but right now, I'm digging it so far. Um, so right now, it is Friday, December 29th. And it, again, by the time this video comes out, it'll be in the new year. So I'm gonna see how it lasts until basically Sunday, uh, the New Year's Eve. Um, because that should be the next time I wash, no, no, the next time I wash my hair is on Monday. So I'm gonna see how it is in the next day or two, how well these curls hold up, when I go to bed, and so forth. So, I will see you all in the next several days. Alright guys, so I am a little bit too lazy to kind of like plug in my camera and the microphone and all that stuff. So I'm doing it on my phone right now. Because it's just a check in on the hair, you guys can see what's happening. So this is the following day um, when I first used the Dyson. And honestly... You know the girl the curls are pretty like still intact obviously like it kind of fell a bit on some areas that you guys can see this is has fallen um but more or less you know it still retains most of its shape right now for the following day because i would assume that it will kind of like mostly all of them would have fallen don't mind the mess on the table here but anyways yeah i would think like all of them would have had like you know uh fell and you know kind of lost its little shape here because some of them still has like a little curl as you guys can see right there i think there's one here has a bit of that curl there um but yeah more or less it you know still retain most of its shape not bad so far i'm not hating it i still have Quite a bit of volume. I should have used the bigger barrel. I feel like the other one gave me a bit more of a tighter curl. Um, I think the other one would have been better. But you know, first impressions and first time using it, not bad so far. I think I still had a bit of frizz when I first used it yesterday. Um, but not bad right now. It's not that much going on. It doesn't bother me. But again, shape is still retained uh, pretty much. I feel like if you use a styling cream, it would hold the curl so much more because I've been seeing a lot of Dyson um, TikToks, um, Instagram reels and whatever, and a lot of people, you know, like it, but then our people don't like it because their curls are not retained and that's why they prefer the shark more. But I think that if you have a good styling cream, your curls should hold pretty well. Um, because with my hair, it is stubborn, your typical stubborn Asian hair, and it doesn't really hold the curl all the time. So a styling cream does definitely help. So if you're going into it without using a styling cream, chances are it's not gonna hold. But if you are, there's a higher chance that your curls are, will be, you know, maintained, cur um, keep uh, keeping its shape. Um, yeah, so, so far, day two, I don't know what you're gonna call it. I, I will call it day two, I guess, because yesterday was second day, day one. So day two curls, um, not bad. Going strong so far. Hopefully tomorrow on New Year's Eve that it, you know, still looks somewhat good. I still think that it will, um, still look good, but we shall see how tomorrow is. Okay guys, so this is day three of the hair. And you know what? It's actually lasting quite a bit. Um, it's not as curly as it was before, but you guys can see that it still has like some some sort of curl and wave to it. Let me just zoom in. <laughs> Someone wants to say hello. Oh, oh, I have another one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so like I said, it is actually lasting pretty well and actually started to snow a bit and it was raining earlier. Um, but yeah, it lasted quite a bit. The, this side, however, um, this fell quite a bit. Uh, it still has like a little flick there, but more or less it is pretty much straight compared to the other side. So you guys can see that it has some you know, wave to it in comparison to this side, it's not so much. Like here, you can see not much going on. Um, but you know what, for day three, it's actually not too, too bad. 
I do want to touch it up, but I again want to test out the longevity of the waves, the curls, so forth. As you guys can see, the bounce here, I feel like the left side is a lot better than the right side. I'm hoping you guys can see the left side. Let me flip the, you know what, let me flip the camera around. You guys can see that this side is a little bit more voluminous. This side, it is kind of falling. This side has fallen. Um, you, as I get, like I said, you guys can see this side is very pretty much straight while this side has some curve to it. Um, but the end still not bad, has some body to it, has some bounce. The back side, you know, not so bad. You guys can see uh, there's still some weight, some body, some bounce to it. It's not like how it was since day one, obviously, it, would ne it never will be. But for day three, not bad. So tomorrow is hair washing day and it is New Year's Day. We'll see how tomorrow's gonna be like. Um, I think I'll retain its shape more or less. Um, probably fall down a little bit more, but uh, you know what? Not too bad, right? Good morning, you guys. Today is actually New Year's Day, so Happy New Year. And I just wanted to give a final update on day four of my Dyson hair. Obviously from day one up until now, like my hair has fallen. Um, not much volume going on, but you, you can see at the ends, it's still retaining some sort of shape, which I'm very impressed about. It's not as like shapely as, you know, obviously day one, maybe day two, but it still retains some like curve, some, some sh like volume there. Um, overall, I'm actually quite happy with the Dyson, I don't mind at all. Is it worth like that kind of money? I feel like individually, it depends on the person. Like some can justify it, some don't. I asked some of my friends that have it or people that they know that had it. Um, one of them only uses it on the weekends for whatever reason, so she doesn't justify the price. And others, they absolutely love it or others absolutely hate it. I feel like it varies depending on, again, the person, um, the type of hair and if they're willing to learn how to use the product um, Also putting products in your hair help the longevity of your of the style And all that and all those other factors. So for me, um, I get I'm guessing like I didn't put enough like styling cream over here Maybe that's why it fell on one side more than the other but the ends look you know, relatively good for like day four. I don't mind it at all. And I see that I will most likely use this more in the future. So with that being said, that me using it more, it will give me more practice how to use it a little bit more, um, how to use the like the rough dry, the flyaways and so forth. And like the smoothing brushes, I still don't see the difference between the two. One's a firm uh, bristle and one's a soft bristle. I, again, I don't know if there's really much of a difference. Um, depending on the hair type I'm guessing I don't know I've never used it yet so I, I can't say but honestly just knowing that they're both two smoothing brush heads I don't really see much of a difference so so in summary I absolutely love my Dyson so far I would totally recommend it if you can't splurge on that much for the Dyson um, then I will recommend the shark um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen videos of that floating around everywhere and you doing the comparison between the two um, Again, I feel like that is depending on the person one prefers the shark over the Dyson one works over than the other Depending on the hair type and so forth because I see some people love the shark over the Dyson and then you know there's other people who love the dyson over the shark because depending on how it's you know curling um maybe it's the accessories you know you have one less barrel because the shark it uses two barrels to have two different directions um rather than the new dyson you just like twist the knob you know save so much space right again in summary i love my dyson i would totally recommend it if you guys have the coin if not go for the shark um so anyways you guys that's it for today's video i hope y'all enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one bye